Okay, guys, here is my gold bar cart. This is a gold rolling cart. I got it from Walmart. It was under 50 bucks. Um, they still sell it. I think Amazon has it for $44. <coughs> Excuse me. I wish I would have taken a picture of it before I broke it down so you could see how I had it. We're not big drinkers. We don't have a lot of family and friends in the state. So it's not a lot of entertainment going on and a need for a bar cart but I wanted one to display some glasses and whatever alcoholic you know spirits that I might have um so I'll show you some clips of how they advertise it of how you know you could you know style this or use it but um I had it styled similar um, the bottom cart, I had bought a six bottle wine, um, holder, and that's where I held my bottles on this middle rack is where I had my glasses on the top is where I had my crystal ice bucket and some, um, bottles. So, um, this is going to be my outdoor bar cart. I was going to donate it because I've gotten my use out of it and I don't need it anywhere else, but I got the idea with all of the fun and festive, um, outdoor entertainment items that Dollar Tree has, um, I got the idea to convert it to a outdoor bar cart or beverage station, if you would call it that. So I'm going to be spray painting it with my favorite spray paint, this Rust-Oleum Premium High Gloss Paint. <clears throat> I decided to go with black. I wasn't sure if I was going to do blue. And <clears throat> the shelves, I'm going to be covering with this tropical wallpaper which also will be like contact paper those will be the shelves and my color is going to come in from my accessories so I'm taking it outside I'm going to spray paint it I'm not going to go crazy with the shelves because the shelves are going to be covered and spray paint is expensive okay that's almost eight dollars a bottle and I use spray paint a lot so I don't want to waste it so I'm not really going to be focusing on the shelves because they are going to be completely covered but the rest of the cart will be black. So let's go. Okay, remember, I'm not going to be really going crazy worrying about the shelves. It's just really the rest of the cart that I want to spray paint black. Um, here we go. Okay guys, first coat is done. Because of the glare, you won't really be able to see it. So I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna flip it and then uh, spray it. I had no other choice. I really didn't go hard on the shelves, but it's just spray paint is going to land where it lands. So um, yeah, let this dry and then do another coat upside down. Okay guys, while this coat dries, let me show you some of my accessories. Okay, you guys seen the size of the cart. The cart is very, very small. Um, I bought this for my kitchen and I was gonna use it for my Ziploc bags, aluminum foil, everything. It's an over the cabinet bin, so it hangs over the cabinet. However, um, my cabinets, are thicker and I don't want to scratch the cabinet so um, I got the idea to use it for the bar cart it hangs perfectly over the side of the bar cart and you see the size it's a small cart with me not having the wine rack and not wanting to place all the bottles on top because I have other things that I want to go on top this is perfect to hold the alcohol gotta have your Ciroc summer watermelon tequila my Malibu coconut rum my fave and if I turn the bottles that way this way hold on because I had it all in here need some grenadine syrup 
Okay, and this gives me a space for the alcohol. I am going to go back to Ross and, Burl and Burlington because they both sell the same thing. This was $7.99. They sell similar items to see if there's another one because I could have disposable cups, napkins, a cocktail shaker, trying to maximize the space. You know, I wish I would have had this idea when I was using it as a bar cart because um, um, I definitely would have done this. And you can keep this chrome if you want, but I'm going to be spray painting this black. Okay, I found this cute five quart cooler at Ross for $9.99. I was thinking about what am I gonna do for ice? Dollar Tree does have some really cute ice buckets and some nice um, containers down their party section that you could make an ice bucket, but they're not insulated and they're not covered. So we all know that summertime, bugs, flies, gnats, or whatever, I don't want them in my ice. I don't want them in my guest's ice. So this cooler is the perfect size, and look how tiny it is. It's five quarts. It's this nice, fun, bright color. It is a name brand, and again, it was only $9.99 at Raw. So this is going to go on the bottom shelf. I'll fill it with ice, and we'll have ice for our cocktails. Again, I did not know they made such a tiny cooler. It is a five quart cooler. Um, $9.99 is a great price because I'm seeing it for $20 online. I Spy wants it to take to work. Not happening. This is for my summer outdoor bar. I found this beverage dispenser from Party City and it was $10.00. It's really, really cute. Such a nice size. But then from Target, I seen this one. And this one was $12. You can't beat that. Look how cute they are. Now, this one's huge. Bigger than what I would like. Bigger than definitely what I need for this bar cart. However, I could not leave it behind. Um, I also could just put it on a different table. But this is the size that I wanted. And look at the beautiful, beautiful teal color um, with the bright yellow pineapples. And then I was on the fence because Dollar Tree does have um, some margarita glasses and goblets that match this. But I, I, I'm okay with the color. Okay, this is a nice, fun, tropical bar cart. I'm okay with the colors and that's coming from somebody who's 100% matchy matchy but here's the problem with these these need to be elevated so while in Dollar Tree I also did haul this this is the oval one they did not have a round black one this is an oval one and I did haul a white round one this seems to be more sturdy now I spies against this but he's not in charge um I don't want to permanently hot glue this to the bottom, but do you get what I'm saying? These type of things need to be elevated so you could just put your cup underneath it. But this is not sturdy enough, but this is an idea that I got. Also, again, I do not want to hot glue this, but you do see what I'm saying? You'll be able to put your cup underneath, fill your beverage and call it a day let me show you my idea what I don't mind hot gluing is this plate to uh, the top of this um, basket and in addition to hot glue I would use an E6000 or a permanent glue and this is just a much more sturdier solution A much more sturdier solution okay in Burlington they had plastic um, margarita glasses and wine glasses for four dollars each these are from Dollar Tree and I think they look pretty good once you remove that flower I just was not feeling the flower it makes them look cheap um, these look a lot better and they have these in um, turquoise they have these in a similar yellow same exact yellow they have them in hot pink and they have this translucent green I was gonna take them back and get the yellow because it would match both beverage um, you know dispensers but I think I like the color 
the different colors so I stuck with the translucent green also in the summer section Dollar Tree has all these fun drink stirrers here's just two of the different ones that I hauled this is a 10 piece flamingo one and a 10 piece palm tree one I also got two of these if you've been rocking with me and you watch my Dollar Tree hauls you've seen these these are going to be for my bar condiments orange slices um, cherries um, you could put lemons and limes um, yeah so I got two of them and those are for bar condiments and I also got these because I'm going to fill these with ice and this will keep my condiments cold okay how cute is that I love the clear and I think the clear being that it's a small cart it won't look like it takes up as much space something else that I got from Dollar Tree nice bright colors this is a metal planter um, I was thinking of putting like straws napkins or whatever um, but I think what I'm going to try to do is take a citronella candle melt it down and pour it in here I think this would make a beautiful um, citronella candle uh, for the top of your patio table or wherever you want it to go also picked up this four piece tongue set this will help get the uh, bar toppings you know the cherries the orange slices pineapple wedges whatever you want to garnish your drinks you need these tongs and you get a set of four so yeah guys these are my accessories there is the booze let's put this cart together so here is the rack you also can spray it a bright fun color as well you don't have to spray it black you could spray it a bright fun color um I don't know should I I do have some teal spray paint and let me just show you how it hangs off the side and here it is it hangs perfectly off of the side I'm definitely going to look for another one you either can stack them on top of each other or put it on the opposite side and if you want it to feel more secure you can uh, zip tie it to the cart but this is pretty pretty sturdy I don't think I'm gonna have to do that and for storage reasons well zip ties you can just cut and release them at any time but yeah so again you can keep it chrome or you could paint it a fun color I'm on the fence if I want to paint it a bright pop of color I don't know guys I don't know I think I'm just gonna do black I have a lot of colorful items to go on top of the cart itself with everything we seal it with rust-oleum clear seals protects revitalizes bonds the plastic wood metal plastic and more and it also has a uv um, protectant non-yellowing fast drying you got to have this guys i love spray paint i love that you can just in a matter of minutes transform something uh, years ago i would just get rid of something if i wanted to change the color but spray paint and pillow covers <laughs> have been a bit and contact paper contact paper has been a big thing in uh, saving money and upcycling or you know keeping what you have so this is from Main Street wall creations this is removable peel and stick wallpaper as you can see they show you you know some ideas of how you can use it but we are going to be covering the shelves of the bar cart with this paper um, I'm not good with measurements guys I'm not that craft diva that can give you measurements I don't really use power tools I'm just like I consider myself entry level um, so I'm gonna be using this utility knife to cut the contact paper um yeah so here we go
Okay, guys, that was quick and easy. Do not be like me. Get yourself a tape measure and use scissors. Um, it'll be so much easier. Let's style it. Okay, guys, here is the finished cart. You're getting a little sneak peek of my new rug and patio cushions, but that's not the full patio reveal. But here it is. I'm in absolute love. I went to Ross last night. I could not find another one. And um, as soon as I can find another one of these over the cabinet um, storage things, I am definitely going to pick one up because definitely with a small cart this size, I need the storage. Um, so my sister had this glass made for me. It says Dollar Tree Queen. Um, so I put my drink stirrers in that. Here is my bar toppings. It's just me. So I don't want to waste a lot of fruit. I have some lime, some cherries, some pineapple wedges, some oranges. And I've had my um, cucumber lemonade marinating all day. I love cucumber lemonade. Um, the only time I could get it was from Cheesecake Factory, which the nearest Cheesecake Factory is... Um, an hour away but here it is guys a little palm tree on the bottom my ice cooler my Dollar Tree glasses they look so much better without the um, those cheap looking flowers and here is uh, yeah here it is here is my outdoor summer bar cart I absolutely love it and it's gonna go over there um, you know but for video purposes, I have it right here now. Absolute love it. Let's make a cocktail. coconut rum with this Cran Tropical Ocean Spray is the bomb dot com. I'm in paradise right now. You can't tell me nothing. So I think it came out cute. Again, I need another hanging shelf for storage to keep my drink shaker. I do have an outdoor drink shaker. I just didn't feel like digging it out. Um, some napkins and stuff like that, but this is a cute little beverage cart even if you don't drink alcohol you can use it um, Especially the small space I have I might need all of my table Space when I set up my table. I might need that for food and I might not have the uh, Space for beverages and stuff like that and I love my little cooler. I love these glasses without the flower and I love I love these clear acrylic containers from Dollar Tree and look at it on the ice bath. It just looks so pretty and it looks like it costs more than $1.25 like we got that from a Marshalls, a TJ Maxx, or a Ross. So I'm going to sip my cocktails and sit back and relax. I got a lot done today. I put down my new rug. I put down my umbrella. The storage bench, I'm sitting on the storage bench now. I will be adding an umbrella to this side because it's no shade if, if I did need this for seating. And um, it looks so pretty. I really, really like it. It's a lot of work. This is a little patio. Maybe it's 20, 20 by 12. But let me tell you something. I felt like I had to sweep the old leaves and the dirt and it, it, it's a lot of work guys. I'm all pooped out. I was going to put on a beach curly wig for the little cart reveal and a tropical vacation dress. I'm tired. I'm done. <laughs> Only thing I'm waiting for is the privacy screen which will add privacy and more shade to this area and um, I have to do the trellis.
So cheers, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I'm giving you some inspiration for your summer decor and entertainment um, because I'm inspired by so many others. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.